So today is the 13th of January. It's a bit cold. As you can see, I'm dressed up for it. Lovely blue sky. <laughs> but I just thought I'd make this video just to emphasize that it does get cold here. Now up in Madrid, they've had the worst snowstorm for ages. It's really deep snow. Thankfully there's no snow here, but as I was walking up, I'm at the mines today in Mazaron. We had ice on the car. We had ice uh, on the ground, but thankfully that's all burnt off now. But it's still one. And I think we're talking about, let's have a quick look at the time. I think it's about, oh, it's coming up to quarter to 10 now. To show you how cold it is. Anyway, if it's your first time visiting my channel, my name is Sean. I've been living out in Spain now for over five years. From the southeast of Spain, the Costa Calida, the Murcia region. I live out just outside of the town of Mavron, not far from the beaches. Also, guys, please check out my play playlist on my channel. Got loads of videos there, guys, you can watch. I live on a place called Camp de Sol. Big, huge urbanisation. To me, it's like a town. It's got everything that I need. Anyway, today it's about winter. <laughs> the one of the things I've got to put across. Anyway, just before that, I'll just bring in this guy. For all those people that have been after the t-shirt, the bigger t-shirts I'm on about, the uh, triple X's. Now this lot, the new promotion I'm bringing out now, it goes up to 5X, so that's massive. For, and then I have a lot of people asking about a t-shirt. Now I bring on my model. Now unfortunately my model's not in a triple X, he's in a, a, a large, isn't it? This is just a large. This yeah. is a large, but this is yeah. what you can get, guys. Yeah. The Expat and Mazaron subscriber t-shirt. Please support. And they wash up well as well. Yeah. Anyway, we're off now. <laughs> Yeah, winter time. If you're buying a property in Spain, guys, don't be swayed by buying a property that hasn't got no heating at all. Now, you will get a lot of properties that's got a fireplace, but to me personally, I don't think that's enough. You do need a place that's got central heating. If you're lucky enough to get a place that's fully insulated, that's amazing. You will find a lot of property in Spain that hasn't got insulation. Where I live on Camp de Sol, our buildings are not insulated at all. They're just prefabs. But so it's always advisable to make sure you have heating because it gets cold. I'm going to put up another video now that I did. I think I've only been here about a year. As always, <laughs> it's, it snowed. And it hadn't snowed on campus all for probably about 20 years. So that was pretty amazing. So I'll just put up that clip now. Well, I thought I'd do a quick video. This didn't happen much, I'll be honest. This is sunny Spain, well, would you believe? And it's snowing. <laughs> I come all the way from the UK, and look at it, it's snowing here. So anyway, hope you enjoyed the little bit. It's just a short one. It's, um, it did say it's gonna snow this week. I didn't think it would do, you know. They say these things, they never happen. Um, so that just tells you that you got to get a place that's kitted out for central heating. Put that in the bargain point. If you're buying a property and it ain't got no heating at all, then put that in the cost for bargaining because it's gonna cost you three or four grand putting that in, probably even more. You've got a good choice out of there. Some places, not on campus so, but other places around Spain will have gas piped in. Um, so think about that. Pellet burners seem to be a big craze at the moment. Remember that you have to buy the bags of pellets, they cost, quite a bit as well obviously what well, I've got I've got oil so yeah bear that in mind on your costs when you're buying a property but anyway I'm just gonna show you a quick clip at the end of this vid of uh, what I'm out today amazing area now also don't forget also we're in this COVID thing we're uh, we're in sort of semi lockdown in our area can't I can't go out at all in Mercia but most of the places around Mercia now are being shut down but thankfully Mazaron is still pretty safe, but not safe enough, obviously. Still got to be cautious what you're doing, keeping your space, wear the mask, all that sort of stuff. But anyway, as I always say, keep watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this short clip, and uh, I'll catch you next time. <laughs>
Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da-da